I'm Mark Baer. You're watching the Your Town television program. I'm with Paulette Lynch from the Arts Council for Monterey County. A future host. Yes, and, yeah, thank uh, you. Well, well, first of all, about a week ago, I went to this fabulous arts gala that um, I just thought was terrific. And let's thank let's you. talk about the night for a, for a bit before we, we, we move on. Oh, thank you so much. The Champions of the Arts Gala was our 12th uh, version, and every year it's totally different because we are honoring different people, so different messages come out, different people come together, but this was one of the most spectacular we've ever had, and uh, we hold, hold it at the um, Portola Hotel, and in a big old ballroom, there were almost 400 people there that night. And they were all there to celebrate the arts, to celebrate the people who are making the arts happen. One of our favorite things is that uh, when we got this started 12 years ago, we were honoring people in many different facets of the arts. So in addition to lifetime achievement, in addition to um, uh, the artist, we also honor the educator, the volunteer, the philanthropist, everybody, including the nonprofits, who are making the arts really happen. And one of my personal favorites is, we call it the luminary. It's someone whose inner light shines so brightly that they really illuminate the path for others forward. And this year, that was Melissa Chin Parker, who's the artistic director of, of the Western Stage. Each person, as you remember, each champion has an opportunity to be a part of a video that's kind of a valentine to them. And then uh, they hear a little bit about themselves as, as they're presented, but they get a chance. I don't tell them what to say in any way. I do tell them it has to be short. But, uh, but they each get the chance to say what's on in their heart, what they want others to know. And, and Melissa was every bit the luminary, just urging us all forward. It was beautiful. It was so great, and I'm really grateful that you were there. Uh, it was beautiful yeah. and inspiring, and among other things, it felt uh, there was so much talent in that room. Yeah. First of all, to be in a small community that we are, to feel the power of the um, and mastery of, of what was of some of the people that were in that room, yeah. and the power of that, uh, it, it made you one proud. <laughs> you know, thank you. It, it, it made one proud to live here and be yeah. creative in this community. Because again, again, creativity doesn't happen in a vacuum; it happens in a community. Well, I, I don't know if you remember, but uh, Alan Silvestri, our lifetime achievement champion, who's a film composer, he has 100 films to his credit, and these, are, most of them, are blockbusters, and it's been over 30 years. And still, when Walter Rice asked him at, at the Weekly, um, what does it affect your work to be doing so much of it in Monterey County? Because he does a lot of it from home um, in Carmel Valley. And he said yes. And the best thing was he's also, uh, he ha has a winery, the Sylvester Vineyards. And the best thing was he, he said, yes, it's the terroir here. And I just thought, oh my gosh, that's the best thing. That's what we're really going for, to create a climate, to create, um, to take the best of everything that we have here. And, and make it blossom, make it bloom, make it, make it stronger than ever. And he really felt that. And for him to express that at Champions and his remarks and to express it in the interview, I just felt like that, that's it. That's what we're going for. But it didn't seem funny. It was right. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that, that's the, that was what was great. And I think everybody <laughs> took a lot of pride in it. And, yeah. and uh, it, it, was, it was just a, a, a splendid night. Thank and you. A, a, a shout out uh, to my friend Arlene Krebs, who did a great job. And... Uh, so she's lesson. our board president also. Your board president and, and your executive director, I should and, mention. And so I'm the executive director, but she's the board president. And she really keeps us moving forward, 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 and improving every year, yeah. all the time. So, yeah, she has a big influence on everything. She did a great job. Yeah. Um, your mantra, Archer the Answer. <laughs> so uh, when I first came uh, to the Arts Council, in, uh, it was called the Cultural Council at that point, uh, things were very, very delicate and, and really nobody was sure if it would survive what had been happening where there were so many threats to, to the whole organization. But we took a look at everything and so I had to do a lot of research. I had to be able to justify why should uh, an arts council have uh, public funding? Why should it have any funding? Why should it exist at all? It's a very existential kind of crisis. So that was good for me because I could get a nice hot start where I had to 
really look around, and I looked around the whole English-speaking world. I looked everywhere. Why? And I kept coming across so many examples, even in our own files, grantees, what they had done in the past, uh, partners, allies, projects that the Cultural Council had done over the years. And I kept coming across with the same idea, that the arts, whenever they have an opportunity to take hold and to be a part of something, the arts are the answer, transforming whatever they see into something better taking something, taking blight in a, a, a downtown and making it vibrant, taking a broken heart and making somebody stronger, feel connected, feel like they can yet go on, taking somebody who uh, is really struggling, whether it's with mental illness or physical illness or some other kind of trauma, um, making them start to feel whole again. So, um, so that's why I keep saying the arts are the answer. And that was in 2005 that I really started to feel that in a really strong way to say it publicly in our newsletters and things. And ever since then, you know, fast forward all these different years since then, I only see it more often, more frequently, and more um, surely. And, and how I'm backed by neuroscientists, that music, for example, helps your brain to uh, recover from trauma because you're using different, so many different parts of your brain. Um, music helps people to learn and you talked about a minute ago about mastery and it helps to develop that and it's applicable to so many other things. I have a friend who's a rower and she talked about the rhythm of rowing and uh, so all these things really come together and every time, every time whatever it is you can look at um, that the arts really are transformative in a hugely powerful, deep and lasting way. Let me, uh, you, you know, how I experience this personally, uh, and, and again, I'm a creator of art, but that's one thing. But again, as when I was working with the museum, and we'd bring in science programs, mm -hmm. and when we would talk about very complex, data-driven th th um, science that was, c um, you know, both complex, hard to uh, really g grasp, uh, hard to grasp on the emotional level, and when we combine complex science and difficult scientific questions, uh, and we combine that with the arts to give an image, right. to give an example, to make it palatable, to, to, to hit on an emotional level as well as an intellectual level, um, that combination is, um, is, is crucial when they combine uh, complex uh, ideas with what art can bring, mm -hmm. uh, people um, let down their barriers more, yeah. are able to cr map it out in their minds a little more, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. hook onto it a little more. Right. So it's, 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 right. it's, this, you're not, this isn't a feel good slogan. This is real right. applicable stuff. Yeah. And, that, that, and that's, my point here yeah. with this. Yeah, definitely. So, you know, what do you, in your just role, what have you fallen in love with? Uh, how, what's happened over time? What's your, what's your experience been here? One of the, uh, um, the mission of the Arts Council is to improve the quality of life for everyone in Monterey County through the arts. So we've been really, really very proactive in going absolutely everywhere in the county. There are some areas you know that have a lot of art programs already underway. And so for those, we can provide grant support and connect them and promote them and do all kinds of things like that. But there are other areas in the county, notably in North County, South County, and East Salinas, where the people there are just as talented as anywhere else, but they don't have the same kinds of resources. They don't have the same access. To, to a stage, to materials, to, um, to people who come in from out of town and want to do something. So over the years, we have really done a lot to encourage, support, facilitate uh, arts programs that are already underway to be more inclusive, to, be, to reach out more. So for example, Dance Kids is doing fantastic work in South County. Youth Music Monterey has a whole program called South County Strings, which we also honored uh, yes. that night. Um, and you see a lot of that happening. The, the Monterey Symphony is bringing, uh, one day it was so fun, I was, I was driving up Ocean Avenue and I saw tens of buses coming down the, the street and I knew what they were for. 
they were all the ones at the Monterey Symphony, because I knew what day it was. Each one of those buses streaming down the, the hill were filled with kids who were just about to have a really phenomenal experience at the symphony, and uh, with a full symphony, really everything that they could possibly imagine. And that's uh, just so stimulating. And they were coming from all over to, to do that. So, but there are some ne nevertheless communities, even with all that happening, where there still needs to be more. And so one of our most exciting projects, we, we do a series of projects um, in, in those areas where, where we really get to be more immersed in the community, uh, at least for a time. So one of our favorites was the county put in a, a, a park in Pajaro, where there's just, there's not very many resources at all at this time, two years ago. And they asked us, would we do the mural? So we assembled a team with CSUMB, Johanna Poitig there, and her students. We went, took teaching artists and put them in the elementary school and the middle school and created something that's 2,400 square feet. And it's gorgeous. It's really, really fun. So that's one of our favorite things to do. And, um, but one of the most powerful we've ever done, and it's still ongoing, is to work with the youth that are incarcerated. Um, these, are, these are middle school and, and senior kids. And this, um, this started, it's called the uh, Probation Department uh, Youth Center. It's located in East Salinas. We have been doing uh, art classes there that, that culminate in beautiful, all, all kinds of things. There's, there's been some, some large-scale paintings on exhibit at the PG Art Center this past year, murals that are on their external walls, where you can still see, nevertheless, the, um, the wiring, you know, the barbed wire. And uh, so, y you know, they're still incarcerated. But they're producing, they're producing all this gorgeous artwork that is tremendous. And probably one of the, the best moments of my time there so far is that for our efforts, for the impact, for what they could see happening, uh, we got the National Association of Counties a Award. Um, that So this was uh, among art projects that were happening all over the country. Um, they chose us um, in 2015 as exemplary for working with the county department, for working with such great impact, and, and having something to show that uh, could really impact the youth there for some time. That the, the crystal plaque that they gave us, like we gave out champions, that doesn't stay with me. It's there for the boys to see every day. Yeah. Um, let's talk about your um, the, the volunteers and how, how that works and how volunteers can work with you and how it all. We have a lot of opportunities for volunteers. So our board of directors is all volunteer, and mm -hmm. uh, but we have to have them each for each county district. We have three positions. We have two positions open right now in um, South County. So if somebody's living in South County, we want you right away. Join the board. And for people who uh, want to be not necessarily on the board, but part of teams, our board actually has uh, board members leading teams in programming and uh, marketing and in uh, development, fundraising. And uh, we also have a separate team, completely separate team for champions. So people can get involved in any of those. They can be assistants for any of our teaching artists. So whatever community they are comfortable in, the where they live, everything's convenient. Um, we can set them up uh, helping with that. We do um, festivals uh, throughout the county where we'll have a booth and we'll have some sort of uh, interactive, usually um, a photo taking something where people will make cards with their photos. We print them out right there. Um, and uh, and there's, there's other things. And then uh, we're schemers, you know. We really <laughs> when, there's, when there's somebody who comes to us with a great idea, we'll help figure it out. We'll help figure out a way. Either we know somebody is already doing it and plug them in, or we know how it could, we could weave it into something else or just connect them. And so you never know what can, what can happen once we get started. So, so what's next? So what's, what's really new is we just created a local emerging artist uh, program. So these are grants that we give to individual artists who are at an inflection point in their career. Mm -hmm. they, um, this is the time they're going to look back and say that $2,500 that the Arts Council gave me. Do you know who did that? It's J.K. Rowling has in her, in her book that the Arts Council in, in England got her started. And so we feel like that's what we can do, too, in our own small way. And uh, so those are the kinds of things that we look forward to, is just finding more and more ways um, for the arts to be the answer for, for whatever's next. And uh, so we're looking forward to the ideas that people bring to us. What do they need? 
and then we can figure out how can we help. So I'm always, you know, as an artist, as a creator, um, the idea that you don't have to live in New York or L.A. if you have a great, supportive, creative community. Mm -hmm. And this is a special community. A lot of really powerful work is being done here. And what the Arts Council has done is allowed people to meet each other. Uh, it, it's uh, you've been very social. You, you've you've uh, you, you run um, uh, a lot of uh, grant seminars. You 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 allow people to meet. Uh, you you create uh, synergy. You create energy, um, and that's what you, we can. You can have. It's my belief. You can be in a small yeah. place and create meaningful, powerful. Um, world art. I came here in 1983 and it occurred to me even then, I was just 20 something, and I could s tell though that people were here intentionally. Yes. And I think that is part, part of the whole story. It's not easy to make a living here no matter what you're trying to do. Right. And it's especially not easy if you have a partner, a spouse, or whatnot, and try to have both of you do what you want to do. Very, very difficult. But there is something here, and that gets us back to Alan Silvestri's idea of the terroir, that there's something here. And so at the Arts Council, our role is just to bring that forward and, and to make it uh, blossom as much as we can. So I'm glad you feel that, because I always, I don't know if you remember, I always tell people at any of our gatherings, please introduce yourself to somebody right. that you haven't met yet. And I tell them every time, no cheating. You can't fake it. You've got to go and actually meet somebody. And that, I think, is also part of the process that happens where all of a sudden people, and oftentimes I'll hear people say, oh, I've been meaning to meet you for so long. And yeah. it's just the greatest And that's thing. part of the culture here. You, <laughs> in, uh, you know, once you introduce yourself, you get over that shyness. Yeah. I've met writers. I've met uh, poets. Yeah. I've, I've met composers. Um, nobody works in a vacuum. You need your tribe if you're an artist. You need your you art do. tribe. And you need your community. Yeah. So anyway, uh, it's the Arts Council for Monterey County. It's Paulette Lynch. And people can get a hold of us at any time just by going to the website arts4, we use the number 4, mc.org. And you find lots of things there. And just whatever it is that you have on your mind, just go there. You may find what you need already, or you can connect with us. We're happy to help. I'm Mark Baer. And you're watching the Your Town television program. Thanks, Paulette. And, Thank you. Uh, Thank you. We'll see you guys all later. <laughs>